just invited you to join on stage. There you go. Hey, yeah, how are you? Everything all right still? Yeah. Yes, perfect here. <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> Yeah, it's always happy it's to always, be here. Yeah, it's always a bit of a of a thing to, uh, especially for people who are not used to working with uh, Discord. It's always a thing. So, with well, that being yeah, said, my, well, it's 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 so, my first such time. A, yeah, indeed. Yeah. And just to say how uh, how happy I am that you uh, are able to join us today, uh, all the way live from uh, Uruguay, of course. So I think yeah, you the are. Other side of the world. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the other side. I, I just had to look it up, and it's like eleven thousand kilometers away. So I think that um, I've had uh, people from Taiwan, uh, but I still think that Uruguay is 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 longer is, is a bigger dif uh, distance for me. So Taiwan would be only nine thousand kilometers. So yeah, indeed. You're uh, you're the clear winner. <laughs> so how is how is life in Uruguay and how has your day been up <laughs> today? Oh yeah, it's it's really peaceful here. Mm -hmm. um, Uruguay is such a small country. We are only three thousand and and half billion mm -hmm. population, and I live in the in the main city that is called Montevideo and. Mm -hmm. It's, we are one and a half million people here. Yeah. Um, really, really quiet and peaceful. Um, I work here from home. Here is my my workshop for Manego Labs products, and I also do some online teaching. But I mm -hmm. spend most of my time here at home. Just creating your uh, your modules. Uh, yes. Um, so how did you actually uh, start with 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 creating modules? Uh, um, is that something that you gradually worked into, or is it just something that you decided, hey, well, that's something I'm going to do? Well, um, I started building effect pedals mm -hmm. and designing effect pedals, especially because I I wanted to create some some looping devices to overcome the limitations of what I had. At that time, I'm maybe 20 years ago. Um, I'm a, a musician, a player, and I play in a rock band, and mm -hmm. so I'm being always involved in electronics for my, my profession. Uh, I always try to merge those passions, music and electronics, yeah. start to build in pedals um, that slowly, slowly, slowly grew. And just before the the, the pandemic pandemic start at mm -hmm. um, 2020, I decided that I wanted to port some of my pedals to the Euro Rack format. Yeah. And then the lockdown came, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was living alone. I live alone. My 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 kids come a couple of days a week here, but I was mainly alone. So I said to myself, well, I have two parts here, or I become a uh, depressive alcoholic, <laughs> or I try to create something new. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and before I, I, I could, uh, be, uh, mm -hmm. that was two years ago. And in retrospective, I, I really created a large base of, of modules uh, I have the, the. I'm lucky because um, I can design fast and have the, the parts prototype here, and I can make small runs in some factories in okay. China. Yeah, okay. Too Great. far from here, but believe me, yeah, it's, it's really close in that matters. Uh, so, yeah, the other day I was checking one of my online shops. Uh, well, I, 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 I call them for their name, it's Perfect Circuit. Yeah. And I was amazed that I have 15 products on display there. Oh, wow. Um, almost all of them were created in this 
past mm -hmm. 18 to 20 months. Yeah. So yeah, I have developed <laughs> such a fast <laughs> developing uh, routine or more than routine is a creative process uh, that has proven, yeah, uh, great for me too, because I, I, I'm not only into rock music, but I have a, a noise uh, mm -hmm. electronic project where, yeah, where I can use all my creations and modules and some stuff that has not seen the light yet or maybe <laughs> will never see it. I, I have to. <laughs> but I, I have the opportunity to try them live and from my experience but by playing live, I discover things that uh, aren't too, too, too suited to that uh, mm -hmm. situations. Uh, for example, such a, a stupid thing, but I found that I had a, a mixer with four channels, but yeah. it was a, such a narrow module, and I found that it was impossible light to, to to turn those tiny knobs, and so I designed a bigger one that I called a performance mixer that has big knobs, six big knobs that I can reach with my eye closer, and I I can. Awesome. perform that that mixes on stage and that's just an example but everything goes through that uh through that testing and mm -hmm. the the torture test that playing live uh, awesome. means uh also before the the lockdown i travel I had a couple of tours in Argentina, which is a neighbor country here, much, much bigger than my country and with a, mm -hmm. um, a great electronic scene. Yeah. Um, there I had the opportunity to think about modules that I would love to have live. That experience uh, was uh, the foundation for many of my line. Awesome. Um, and then I can't stop <laughs> creating <laughs> and adding modules. <laughs> and I think Sometimes that the, the community loves them me. as well, because from what I've, as you said, yeah, you, you can nowadays almost yeah. find your modules all across the, the globe, you yeah. might even say. Uh, it's, I have found that uh, people really love the um, sound, of course, that's uh, most important thing and the creative resources that my module provide uh, but also the, the aesthetics um, a certain a certain vision about what mm -hmm. I want them to look like um, trying to to be a part of uh, what I called with all my respect to all Mm -hmm. my colleagues and creators but sometimes i i, I show i i show saying that there are two looks in because sometimes i i have to release products with plain graphics and mm -hmm. i ask the the resellers do you want my regular graphics or boring graphics <laughs> <laughs> oh but perfect i love both i i like i like the look of, of sober black panels that is also so that also seduces me. Yeah. Um, especially recently, I started uh, porting one of my modules, uh, the drone, mo the ground drone module, mm -hmm. to MOOC format. That is such a big, um, yeah. a big format. But the five found that, that I love right? it aesthetically. Yeah. Aesthetically and the the knobs that are so big and. The distance between the knob make it so good to to perform. Yeah, I don't know how it would be to travel with such a case of module, but I love them anyway. <laughs> uh, the, That's perfect. Yeah, yeah the, the guitar patch cables <laughs> are so big. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. But that's a I great. also like the, but never produced nothing in that format. The the Cosmo format from that. Billion mm -hmm. guy the, from Lukeman, my computer, no computer. Yeah. Uh, he has a, a format that he developed that is 20 centimeters high, but 
10 centimeters width and such a nice format Absolutely. such a crazy inventor yeah yeah but then again of course the, it's, it's all about is, who is uh, who, who is able to uh, to buy and to use that as well because of course yeah in Eurorack yeah. there's a lot of mm. well audience for it and in the Moog already the, the five view formats already well it's a smaller audience already and then in the um, yeah the Lugmom no computer format I forgot how it's called but um, yeah it's 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 probably it's even Cosmo smaller. Cosmo format Cosmo, Cosmo. okay yeah, yeah yeah Cosmo with K Cosmo Cosmo okay Cosmo format brilliant but uh, yeah, it's such a, a niche uh, format. I love it anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what I what I can tell that uh, people that are really into move uh, format uh, and to <laughs> to fill walls with that big modulars, and I I love that, and I look them with with them be maybe sometime like I have a, a wall of Maneco modules in 5U format that yeah. would be great absolutely <laughs> yeah all those those beautiful wooden cases that's so so amazing <laughs> that's absolutely such a flavor from the the the, the beginnings of modular mm -hmm. uh, I love that uh, but especially Eurorack is my main uh, platform I can yeah. say that and and what was actually your first module that you released commercially was that the grown drone as well or no no it was a version it was a, a, a port an interpretation of one of my most successful uh, not so successful but people liked a lot that it's a looping pedal called the Switch 16 that has some resemblance with 80s mm -hmm. generation first digital delays um, I ported that to, to Eurorack that was exactly the first that I, awesome. that I designed yeah. then I, I added a, a resonant filter to that and tried some combinations uh, that module never well yeah that module is became later a different module called the filter echo that mm -hmm. is basi basically a looping delay and a resonant filter and modulations and all in one module and that was uh yeah well received but i i remember that i was thinking about having one module that could combine some combinations patches that I used in some live streams that I did at that, at that time yeah. for modular on the spot that is a great platform yeah and I said oh I need to have uh, an, uh, some kind of crazy oscillator and I need a filter and I need an LFO and I need uh, some kind of reverberation and delays and the first module was born from that idea i i used i used and still use clouds as the effects yeah. processor uh, i think everything sounds great with clouds but <laughs> later Absolutely, i yeah. expanded yeah but later I, I expanded that that concept and made uh, two um, spin-offs from the first drone one called the mini drone that i added that completely different kind of processing I added two delays mm -hmm. and later I became well maybe I became obsessed with reverb algorithms and reverse delays and that and I started coding and trying to to to, to come with a, a personal algorithm a personal combination of effects mm -hmm. that turn in a in an effect device um, called the cluster verb that is a simple module but has well it's powerful because it has a river mm -hmm. uh, huge with a long decay if you want it that also has a freeze function that you can uh, freeze the buffer and you have all that noise 
in the yeah. background, but also has a tap tempo delay and also has a reverse delay. And the three awesome, can be yeah. useful, used uh, simultaneously. And I love that I use it on my guitar, on vocals. Uh, I released that as a independent Eurorack module. Um, and that became the effect section for the Grone version two. That has some other differences. Mm-hmm. So, so is that, is that the, the Grown expander found... then, or is that something we can't find oh, no, on your no. website? No, no, that's yeah. uh, that's another thing. Of the Grown expander was because I I wanted to have more oscillators, mm-hmm. and I was hypnotized by <laughs> touch <laughs> control to trigger the oscillator. So I devised a uh, the Grown expander that has four oscillators, two are the same oscillator and the grown, and the other two are white table oscillators. Nice. And you can trigger uh, four of them and has a, a delay with modulation at the output and a distortion. And I found that that combo, uh, the grown and the grown expander is a killer uh, setup also for <laughs> for live situations or for for I don't know, cinematic composing, uh, such. I love that combination so much that I'm preparing now a tabletop unit. So now I'm <laughs> also expanding in, in, yeah, in another format that is not modular, but a tabletop unit that combines both modules. You have an expander and a grown. And yeah. You don't need a neuro rack, just a, a regular pedal power supply because I think that's the most common kind of power supply that you can find. Yeah. Um, just power in it, you have everything and you don't sacrifice anything because all patch points are there. You can patch with uh, the regular patch modular cables, but also you have uh, guitar connectors in the back. So you have best of all worlds. Yeah, absolutely. Many yeah. people don't like Eurorack, uh, don't like modulars, mm-hmm. want some, uh, want some pre-built solutions, but that have uh, many possibilities. Absolutely. So they have the patches. So they, they have a modular uh, synthesizer, but it's not a. It don't go through the through the process of creating a, a case and. Mm-hmm. The power supply problems and all, the, yeah. <laughs> all that we and love all that, and, yeah. and hate. All, at the same everything time. that we uh, yeah. that we really love to do. <laughs> and, and yeah, yeah. If yeah. you then we if you that, then think back, many that's, people uh, don't. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and if you then think back, so um, I know this, and, and and you already mentioned it as well. You've got a background in in rock music. Has that always been a part of your life? Is that something that you develop later on? No, um, my first musical experience mm-hmm. was at 19 year old, <laughs> years old, mm-hmm. so really young, I'm 53 now, mm-hmm. and it was, um, and it, uh, the first, the first completely electronic project in Uruguay, there was no previous uh, experience here that a couple of musicians and a singer would go on a stage just with machines. Yeah. And many of those machines were built by me with what I knew at that time. But oh. Not much. Uh, but yeah, I, I I remember that I built uh, uh, some kind of drum machine and oscillators and filters. Mm-hmm. I didn't have access at that time to maybe uh, digital signal processing chips, so everything was primitive, analog. From There was no internet at that era, so everything came through electronic magazines that I bought uh, mm-hmm. secondhand at that kind of stores. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I remember the weekends in, in, in Flea Markets, uh, going through piles of magazines of all kinds of <laughs> magazines just to find electronic 
magazines and especially electronic magazines that had uh, music projects on that. Uh, I love and I remember that that era. Uh, that was what started. Then uh, some years later, I moved from purely electronics to a rock band called Elefante. Mm -hmm. and that band has became 25 year old this this last year. So oh, awesome. it has been such a long, <laughs> mm -hmm. a long tr uh, trip, and the, the band is still active. And we played last month in a big, big. Um, in a big venue in the in the coast here we have nice beaches and, and coast and there was a big uh, music festival and we were lucky to be there um, with some Argentinian bands and some Brazilian bands. So, Great, of course. Yeah, yeah Montevideo is, is of course right, right at the at the ocean, right? So that you you'll have yeah, more yeah. enough ample we are access the ocean, to it. But mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a. a maybe 400 kilometers coast. Awesome. Uh, the nicer beaches are uh, uh, maybe 50 kilometers up to the east. They start and they go all the way to <laughs> the Brazilian frontier. And yeah, uh, we have a Punta del Este that is a world-known... Uh, oh, wow. Yes, a world-known beach too. Yeah. Uh, Right. And then it's of course then it's beautiful it is, to actually uh, play on the on the beach as yeah. well. That's of of course absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That that was a, a really nice experience and sunset sets and uh, yeah. <laughs> we are lucky to have that here. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And and do you think that that twenty five years of playing in a rock band has that influenced um the kind of modules or the kind of pedals or the kind of well tabletop synthesizers you're going to be oh, yeah, creating yeah. as well yeah of uh, course for pedals it, it makes more sense yeah 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 but uh, in my band i i split tasks because i play guitar in some songs mm -hmm. and i play electronics in others and i can tell for sure that all my my devices started life as something I needed for that for that for that band. Awesome. A need for to create something for the band trigger the the, the design of something electronic that later, mm -hmm. without me knowing that, uh, became a a product. Uh, but the first time I I, I created the, I remember the first looping delay, I. I had no intention to to market that or to make a living from that. Mm -hmm. Just posted in a in a forum, in a music forum, from Germany, <laughs> uh, some pictures and some some sounds. I remember, and I received a couple of requests. Uh, Can you build me one of those? <laughs> Why do you want that? Uh, you you are in Europe. You have access to everything you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but not to this. Not to this. The other side of the world. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, I discovered that there was something there that that was attractive to them, um, <clears throat> and that's how all it all started. Great, with just just you a couple of crazy Germans cast? that wanted uh, yeah. your pedals. <laughs> Yeah, I had uh, two Sherman customers, and one from Denmark and one from Sweden. Uh, <laughs> that were my, my first four uh, customers, and all four units were completely different one from the other because every one of them asked mm -hmm. for something different. Can you build me something that has this and this and this? Yeah, why not? Awesome. Of course, it was... Uh, other, it was not as, as fast as today because I had to source all the the components locally or in Argentina that has a bigger mm -hmm. market or and the most complicated parts I had to to buy them and, and expect maybe for weeks from United States maybe mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a 
an electronic shop in, in USA. Uh, I think it still exists. That was called Shameco or Shemco. Mm -hmm. um, I bought from them and had to wait weeks or months to, for parts oh. to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, we we can't we we can't imagine that being the case. Of course, no. when we when we no, now expect no, something but within 24, 24 hours or a couple of days, maybe. But yeah, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, uh, now I use a service that um, give me an address in Miami, mm -hmm. so I buy the, everything to that address. They make a big packages, and once a week they. They send me that by plane, so I'm receiving every every week. I'm I'm receiving the yeah that. <laughs> so parts come much faster. Absolutely, uh, no parts problem. that I that I, I have manufactured in China. I have them sent to Miami and then from Miami to Uruguay, and that works. Believe That's it or great. not. <laughs> That's great. That's great. And uh, where do you see the um, well the future of of, of the your company you might say uh heading you already said okay well we you, you're going to dive into tabletop synthesizers as well with the grown and the, the grown drone and the expander uh anything else that you are thinking about or where you say well, that's something uh, some, some way where i'm headed well uh something really 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 new that happened almost without me knowing that mm -hmm. is that uh maybe four weeks ago mm -hmm. Um, four weeks ago, I I had the idea to to make a tribute to a magical device from the 80s that was the Electro Harmonics 16 seconds delay, and I I oh, thought yeah. I want to do a, some kind of reissue of that, maybe for me, maybe you know for my friends. Uh, some uh, important musicians like, like Nels Klein that uh, use mm -hmm. it and have all units that are almost no, non-working. Yeah. And so I built it and it became such a beautiful machine. Yeah, I can <laughs> see some pictures. I'm yeah, the the screen yes, here. Yes. Uh, awesome. Last week I finished the, the first unit and that pictures that you saw triggered an enormous amount of interest and well I decided to to do a small run of that devices mm -hmm. uh, 50 units I will build because there are some um, there are some uh, components that are vintage components that was, yeah. were extremely difficult to source so I could uh, get to to build around 50, yeah. a bit more, but I have to <laughs> to have some backup. Absolutely, and I don't yeah. know if in the future I will find again those those components because I was really I, it was not a copy from the original, but the philosophy and the the, the structure was really really close. Uh, Nowadays, when you, you use a, a river or a delay, mm -hmm. basically there's a, a digital signal processor chip and a codec chip that audio enters there, it gets processor inside, and from an output, you get the result. Yeah. But in the 80s, um, you have to construct the, the complete signal path. Almost all, everything was analog, so you have to uh enter the signal filter it low pass filter it uh, emphasize the high frequencies so later you could de-emphasize that frequencies and get rid of noise you yeah. have to put a compressor at the input because the bandwidth and the the, the bandwidth not it was the the um, Cash. yeah the, the yeah the the the, the <clears throat> Dynamic range, the dynamic range, yeah. I could not find the, the word. The dynamic range was not high, so you have to compress the signal at the input. Mm -hmm. Then you convert it from analog to digital, place it in a memory, read it back from the memory, 
pass yeah. through a digital to analog converter and then filter in the analog domain, decompress or expand to recover the signal. Uh, what you have emphasized in high frequencies then have to be low pass filter again and then you mix the analog signal with the direct signal and basically that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I tried to build it uh, with uh, the same uh, process in maybe with more modern technology but many of the components are from that era. I tried to Absolutely. be to, to build something like vintage digital yeah and it turned out really nice really nice um, i was uh, checking some I, I don't have an original unit to to compare but i was checking some videos in youtube from people who, who still have them yeah and yeah it was awesome. almost the same <laughs> <laughs> except that mine has more memory instead of 16 seconds you can have up to maybe 64 seconds delay and yeah uh, really nice awesome yeah well as i said it, it looks absolutely gorgeous so i'm uh, pretty sure yeah, those, the, those 50 will be gone before you uh, before you know it oh well, yeah but i plan to 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 maybe port it to to euro rack if i can't find the parts yeah of course yeah uh, we are uh, we have two difficulties. One is that there are vintage parts, and second, that there are really a, a big problem now in electronics industry Absolutely. around the world yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. short of chip. Uh, you see that <laughs> Beringer is teasing every day new machines and say that they won't release it because they can't find the parts. Yeah, well, uh, uh, that's Imagine, exactly that's Beringer. Which... Beringer has a city. A city yeah. of them in China. <laughs> <laughs> I work at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah, you don't have a full city where you can gen no, where you can I create your own chips. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, to build my own chips. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely brilliant well that's that's fantastic and i'm really looking forward to that and i'm looking forward to see how those uh, tabletop sins will work out as well um so i see we're already way over the the 30 minutes interview that i uh, uh <laughs> that oh, i promised you <laughs> but that's a great thing don't don't get me wrong yeah it's such a pleasure i i, I can't believe that Absolutely. So much time has passed, and yeah. so we are still. But I'm, I, I always have two, two, two last questions, and then we're going to open it up to the audience if they've got oh, any no, questions. No, yes. And um, yes. my, 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 my <laughs> that that question would always be: Well, if you were to go back to, uh, to yourself being younger, and if you wanted to give yourself one piece of advice, what would that be? Oh, uh, that piece of advice was always chase your dreams awesome um, yeah um, yeah if you want to to be a musician mm -hmm. be a musician if you want to to uh, to have that, those crazy creations uh, mm -hmm. go ahead because that's what you what you have in yourself that's part of your blood so yeah that's what i would say that's great that's i would great. not uh advise myself a younger myself to no no don't don't waste time in, <laughs> in playing rock bands uh get a, a good job at a, a big electronic <laughs> enterprise <laughs> and have a peaceful life with with a big house near the beach no no worries no worries perfect no. and then always my, my my last question is always i've, I've had yeah. i've had the honor to ask you so many questions now and i do truly appreciate that uh but i do want to return the favor are there any questions you might have for me yeah 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 i that question comes from uh, admiring your work and mm -hmm. your perseverance and that you are unstoppable where do you thanks. get the passion for that um it is something probably to do with um at first a love for music that is that is what's driving me yeah. and yeah. then also a a bit of as you say following that dream as well because i've i've never really learned to play an instrument and i've only recently took on um took on synthesizers of course but i wanted to learn and i've always wanted to make sure that everything that i do i want to share that as well 
and yeah, make sure that, that we educate. A, yeah, that was the other point I, I I had to remark to you publicly and shout it to to everyone that you are so generous, Jesper. Oh, so thank you generous. so much. <laughs> all all of your all of your your work is such meticulously organized in a way that many people can learn from from oh, you thank you so much this modular so you are making your own experience yeah but you are in the in the in, at the same time you are encouraging others to to experiment uh, not to be afraid to one absolutely oh thank you so much that that, 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 me, that means a lot to me absolutely yeah and no, and, and as you say it's that if those I, are my feelings my true yeah. feelings about all this experience, modular clubhouse experience, is, is what it, I received from that. Ah, perfect. Thanks. And and as I said, well, if I only touch maybe one or two people with them, then I'm I'm a lucky man, right? That's that's the whole thing. Oh no, 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 yeah. no! I, I'm sure that it will grow. Absolutely. Don't are you worry. To yeah. learn. Absolutely. So then, well, uh, first of all, yeah, I'm a bit uh, lost for words now, but. Um, Let's see if there are any questions coming from the audience. Uh, there's no questions yeah, coming from the uh, on the companion channel yet. I do see that Side has requested to raise their hands. Hi, welcome. Hi there. Hey, we don't. Hey, there you are. Oh, hi. Maneko here. Uh, I'm Sai Santiago from Uruguay too. Oh, <laughs> oh great. Yeah. Question <laughs> and a comment. Uh, the, which one would you like to start with? Both are equally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever you like, of course. Well, I'll start with a question. Uh, Perfect. So, I am completely clueless as to whether there is a modular scene here in Uruguay, and if there's anything modular ever in around going around here. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a, a group called uh, <laughs> Hermandad Modular that in English is modular sisterhood mm -hmm. and or brotherhood as you want as you like it and just uh, drop me an email or a direct message in Instagram that I can add you to that group because there are some nice people there we are half a dozen but we are here <laughs> in Uruguay <laughs> so question yes there's a scene a small small scene but there's this one Let me do the comment real quick because oh. I am quite uh, in a rush. Studying in a car, I'm studying a career in graphic design and have been making panels for an upcoming Eurorack company. I would deeply enjoy the opportunity to work with you and your panels. Huh? Oh, that sounds great. Uh, let's get in contact and we could, uh, yeah, have a, a shared design. I would love to. Yes, of course. Awesome. Thank you so much for that, uh, Sire, for uh, for your question and your comments. Great. Any anyone else who has any any questions or uh, maybe comments that they want to share with them, uh, even though um, if you if you're unable to uh, join on stage, feel free to uh, drop your questions in the companion channel. Uh, but I think that uh, we're almost at the uh, at the end of today's show. So again. Thank you so much for joining and um, I do want to wish uh, you and your company and the rest of your family, of course, all the best. And um, yeah, it's been an honor oh, to have you here. Um, honor is mine and you know, we are friends and we stay in touch every day. So no worries. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, of course, uh, Absolutely. Of course, of course we and for now what would you I, say I, I, yeah i'm really i'm really looking forward to 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 travel oh uh, yeah 
there and, and meet you in person. Absolutely. And make yeah. some music there if it's possible. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And if you and if you ever are in the uh, in the vicinity here, make sure that we uh, that we meet up. And uh, of course, we have. Well, I think last week there was a synth meetup in France, synth uh, synth fest, and we will Amazing, have yeah. um, a super booth in Berlin, of course, in a couple of uh, well, in the middle of May, if I'm not mis mistaken. So make sure that uh, when we are allowed to travel again without any sort of restrictions, yeah, we do need to uh, make sure that we get you over here. Yes, we, we, we will meet. I'm ah, positive so, about oh, yeah. that. Yeah. And otherwise, I just need to uh, visit you in Uruguay. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> always, always. You're, I'm sure you like it here. Oh, I'm sure. I, from, from what I've seen and from what I've heard, absolutely no worries. So for now, I would just say, well, thanks so much. And for everyone who's listening, everyone who's joined uh, either live or is listening to this recording, thank you so much for your time. Um, I do appreciate everyone for just spending uh, their time to listen and to, to learn from what we're doing. For now, we just say, make sure that you are keeping safe, uh, staying healthy, and uh, hope to see you for my next show or for my, uh, for my next video, who knows? Maneko, thank you so much again. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jasper. And we'll be in touch. To Absolutely. <laughs> Talk soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.